Client tasks in Motion.io make it so easy for your team to gather the files, information, signatures, and approvals from clients. You'll wonder why you and your team ever tried using email to accomplish the same jobs. In this video, I'll explain how client tasks work in Motion.io. I'll cover the five different request options that are available in Motion.io's Task Composer and give you some examples for how you can use them in your business. Let's dive in. So I'm in here in my motion.io account and to show you how client tasks work, I'll be creating an example project for a website design client I'm working with. After creating a new project, I'm automatically brought into the tasks page for that project. And you'll see I have the option to either create a task or create a stage. Project stages in motion.io enable you to organize related tasks into a single stage to help clients understand how, when, and why a task should be completed. Well, you can create tasks without assigning them to a stage. In this case, I'd like my client to know that the tasks I'm assigning to them are all related to onboarding. I'll click Create Stage, give it the name of Onboarding, and then click save. With my stage created, it's time to create some tasks. I'll click the gray create task button that appears within my onboarding stage. And you can see the stage that this task is being added to here at the top of the task composer. Directly below it is where I can assign clients to this task. Tasks in motion.io can be assigned to one person or multiple people. For now, I'm gonna hold off on assigning any clients to this task because at the end of this video, I'll show you a quick way to assign clients to multiple tasks simultaneously. Next, I am going to give my task a title. Because this task will be for my client to complete an onboarding form, I'll simply title it Complete Onboarding Form. In the rich text editor below the title, I have the option to add additional content, images, or links. But for this example, I'm just gonna leave this blank. Towards the bottom of the task composer, you'll notice I have five different options for things I can add or attach to this task. By toggling on these different request options or using a combination of them, you can quickly create any type of task for your client to complete using the same familiar task composer. To attach my onboarding form to this task, I'll toggle the attach a form request option. In the modal that opens, I can either create a new form from scratch or select from the forms I've created already. Since I've already created my onboarding form, I'll select it from this list and click Save. As mentioned, you can use any combination of these request options when you're creating tasks. For this task, I'll toggle on the Require Signature option, which will automatically add a signature field at the bottom of the onboarding form that I attached. After saving this task as a draft and opening the preview, you can see that my signature field is now added to the bottom of my form, ready for the client to sign after they complete the questions above. One thing you may have noticed is that for this task I just saved as a draft, I didn't specify a due date or set up automated reminders. And that's because at the end of this video, I'll show you how to use Motion.io's bulk actions to set due dates and reminders for multiple client tasks simultaneously. However, setting a due date and reminders for an individual task is as simple as choosing a date from the date picker and clicking the toggle that appears to the right of the date. We have a full guide that explains how automated reminders work that I'll link to in the description of this video. But a quick tip that's helpful to share is that you can see an overview of the emails Motion.io will send at any time by clicking the tooltip icon here. The next task I'll create will be for my client to schedule a kickoff call using a specific calendar I've set up within my online appointment scheduling software. As I did before, I'll click Create Task and give it a title. Next, I'll go to the Request Options below and click Embed a Website. Using the Embed a Website option, you can give clients access to any other tools you use directly in a task by pasting in shareable software links, iframe embed codes, or website URLs. For my example, I'll paste in the link for my Calendly calendar I want the client to schedule on and click Save. Before my team can get to work on this new client's website, we need to collect a few brand assets and files we'll be using to create their initial design. Motion.io's Collect Files Request option is perfect for this. Using the Collect Files Request option, you can add collection names that make it clear to your client what files you need and automatically group files together into well-organized folders that help your team understand why files were provided and what they should be used for. After creating my task and toggling Collect Files, a modal opens where I can add my collection names. For this task, I'll add collection names for brand logos, team photos, and product shots. Once I save this task as a draft and open the preview, you can see how the collection names I added will appear. The final task I'll create as a part of this video will be for my client to review and approve my onboarding roadmap. 
In addition to providing a quick way to share files with clients as a part of a task, the Attach Files Request option provides the ability for clients to pin comments directly on files you attach and mark each one as approved or request changes. To do this, I'll toggle Attach Files and drag my PDF for the onboarding roadmap into the upload window. And while I could stop here, I'd like to give my client additional options to either mark this as approved or request changes and pin any comments or questions that they have. To do this, I'll toggle on require approvals in the modal. And as you can see here, my client can now annotate this file with their comments and mark it as either approved or changes requested. Now that all of my tasks are created, it's time to assign them to my client, set due dates and reminders and send them off so they'll appear in my client's portal. Within your Motion.io projects, the Bulk Actions dropdown provides a quick and easy way to perform actions on multiple client tasks simultaneously. To assign these tasks to my clients, I'll click the checkbox next to each task and then head up to the Bulk Actions dropdown and click Set Assignees. I'll then enter my client's name as well as their email into the window here, which will also add them to the project and send them a welcome email and then click Save. With those same same task still selected, I'll then select the set due dates and reminders option from the dropdown. I'm going to go ahead and specify the same due date for each task in the onboarding stage, as well as toggle on my automated reminders. With these tasks ready to send to my client, I'll then select the send tasks action from the dropdown, click save, and I'm done. So that does it. Hopefully this video gave you all of the information that you need to start using Motion.io's client tasks and client portals within your business. That said, if you have questions about Motion.io or want some help getting started, our team is here to help. Get in touch by sending us an email at hello at motion.io or start a support chat by clicking the blue contact us button that appears in the bottom right hand corner of your account.